What is the angle of friction? Angle of friction is the angle between resultant contact force and normal force or normal on the contacting surfaces. Contact forces are generated when two surfaces come in contact. A block of mass M resting on a table. What are the forces working on that block? A gravity pull because of gravitational force works in downward direction. And a reaction force by table on the block as a normal force work in upward direction. This normal force is a contact force. Is there any other force working on the block? No. So now read the definition of angle of friction and tell what is the angle of friction in this case. Think about it. Whoever thinks it is zero, they are absolutely right. So here there is only one contact force which is normal force. So resultant contact force is normal force and the angle between normal force and normal is zero. So angle of friction is zero. Now let's apply a horizontal force F on the block and the block doesn't move. This is because an equal and opposite a static friction force between block and table surfaces oppose the applied force. Friction force is also a contact force. So now in this case we have two contact forces, the normal force and the frictional force. Resultant contact force R is the vector sum of these two forces. So what is the angle of friction in this case? The angle of friction theta is the angle between resultant force R and the normal N. So from triangle OAB, the tan theta is equal to AB divided by OB. So AB is equal to frictional force F and OB is normal force N. So the angle of friction theta can be given by tan inverse F by N. Until block start moving, the frictional force is a static frictional force. We know the static frictional force F is self-existing force and always equal and opposite to the applied force. As we increase the applied force, the friction force also increases in same proportion and keep the block at rest. Because of this change in frictional force magnitude, the resultant force R also changes and so the angle of friction. And as we keep on increasing the applied force, the frictional force also keep on increasing and it reaches to the limiting force FL. And so the resultant contact force also reaches to the limiting resultant contact force RL and the limiting angle of friction theta L. So here in this case, this limiting condition is that condition in which if we further increase the force, the motion of the block will start. From triangle OAB, we can say that the tan theta L is equal to FL, which is a limiting frictional force, which is equal to vector BA, divided by the normal force, which is equivalent to vector OB. And in this condition, when we reach to the limiting frictional force, the ratio of frictional force and normal force is equal to the coefficient of static friction. Or we can write down that limiting frictional force is equal to the mu s multiplied by n. So here the FL is a limiting frictional force. Any further increase in the applied force F will not increase the value of static friction, the limiting static friction FL or the angle theta L. Instead, the block will start moving and the static frictional force will be replaced by kinetic frictional force. So important thing to remember here, the value of mu s coefficient of static friction is equal to the limiting friction force divided by normal force. The value of static friction is always less than equal to the product of 
coefficient of static friction and normal force. In other words, the value of static friction lies in between 0 and the maximum limiting frictional force. Remember, the value of mu s is constant for a given pair of surfaces and its value is given by the ratio of limiting frictional force and normal force and that is equal to tangent of limiting angle of friction. So coefficient of friction is measured experimentally by reaching to limiting friction for any two contacting surfaces. Limiting friction gives limiting angle of friction and tangent of that angle gives the value of coefficient of static friction. Now let's take an example. A block of mass 5 kg is resting on a rough horizontal surface. It means there is a 5 kg force or 49 newton force in downward direction. A horizontal force of 20 newton is applied to it. If the block doesn't move, we need to find how much frictional force the table is applying on the block. Since block is not moving, it means there is an equal and opposite frictional force on the block and which is equal to the applied force of 20 newton. So the friction force in this case is a static friction of 20 newton. Now next part of the question is what is the angle of friction? So to find out the angle of friction we need to know the normal force as well. In this case, the normal force because of table will be equal to 49 Newton. 9.8 is, is the value of G and this is a mass of the block. And this force is equal and opposite to the downward force. Angle of friction theta can be given by tan theta equal to frictional force divided by normal force. And its value is come out to be tan inverse 20 by 49. Now the third part of the question is coefficient of friction between two surfaces. Since this is a not limiting frictional force, so we cannot find the value of mu s or coefficient of static friction. Now let's get into the second part of the same question. A horizontal force is increased to 25 Newton and block is still remain at rest. So we need to find out how much frictional force the table is applying on the block. Here since block is not moving, so static friction will be equal to the applied force of 25 Newton. The second part of the question is angle of friction. Again, to find out the angle of friction, we need to know the normal force. Now normal force is remain same as in the previous case. Angle of friction it can be given by tan theta which is equal to again fs by n. So theta will be equal to tan inverse 25 by 49. And the last part the coefficient of friction again since here the frictional force is not the limiting force we cannot find the value of coefficient of friction. Case 3 the horizontal force is increased to 30 newton and the block just start to move. So we need to find out the frictional force the table is applying on the block. Since the block is, is still at rest, the limiting frictional force which is equal and opposite to the applied force. And the angle of friction is again is given by the ratio of frictional force and the normal force. So here the limiting angle of friction is tan inverse 30 by 49. Can we find out the coefficient of friction between these two surfaces? Yes, in this case we can find out because here the frictional force is a limiting frictional force where block is going to just start its motion. So here the coefficient of a static friction is equal to the ratio of limiting friction divided by normal force and that is equal to tan theta L. In the end there is a question for you. The contact force by a horizontal surface on a block placed on it has constant magnitude. If the angle between force and vertical is increased, the frictional force between block and surface will increase, decrease, remain same or may increase or decrease. Put your answers and suggestions in comment box. And that's all we have for today's session. 
I hope you would have enjoyed this. And if you think you have learned something new today, then please click like button and subscribe us for similar type of videos. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.